MSU is facing another lawsuit, and this time it's coming from the Detroit Free Press. Let's take a look. In November, MSU's football coach Mel Tucker made headlines after the university agreed to a 10-year, $95 million contract that made him the highest paid college coach in the country. According to court documents, in December, the Detroit Free Press filed a request under Michigan's Freedom of Information Act asking for records of gift agreements from donors Matt Ishbia and Steve St. Andre, who gave millions to help pay for Tucker's contract. Public, we feel, has a right to uh, see what the, what the promises the parties have made to each other. And that's all we're looking for. According to court documents, Michigan State University President Samuel Stanley denied the request, quoting FOIA's privacy exemption. But that didn't stop the Detroit Free Press. According to court documents, they submitted a six-page appeal to Stanley, arguing that the university was not following FOIA laws. What we're seeking are, as I said, contracts between a public body, MSU, and uh, these donors, um, they're not exempt, in my view, from um, uh, FOIA. They also added that they've sent similar requests to other Michigan universities and had no problem getting what they needed. Stanley denied the appeal, stating the individual's privacy interests outweighed the free press's state interest in disclosure. It's not private information. In fact, uh, the university has celebrated the generosity of these uh, donors, featured them in press releases and uh, on the MSU website, and we want to know what the agreement says. According to court documents, the Detroit Free Press is requesting that the court order MSU Board of Trustees to give them copies of donor gift agreements. We reached out to MSU spokesperson Dan Olson for a statement, but he said he can't comment on pending litigation. For now, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Yasmeen Ludi, Fox 47 News.